Hey guys, and this is the long-awaited rambling video number four. Uh, in the background, I'm going to be doing some cooking brawlers. Cooking brawlers I got from um, Slayer. I did a lot of Slayer. I got three cooking brawlers in a row as brawlers drops, and then I got like a smithing brawler, which was sad, but oh well. I got really lucky. So I'll be cooking in the background. I just got 120 VXP. I did 4K spins. I bought bonds with in-game cash, don't worry. Uh, and I got 200 mil three times, which was crazy. That's awesome. But yeah, let's get into this video. Uh, I'm going to sound like a broken record. I know this. And I know I'm not consistent with the videos. I'm going to try to do them. But I really wanted to make this video, my rambling video for, because I said it in my progress video that I wanted a rambling video for before double XP weekend. So I can tell you my future, well, my double XP goal, well, not goals, but my double XP, what I'm, what I'm going to do, and then like other goals, etc. But yeah. Uh, this beta was going to be, I'm sorry, this beta, this video was going to be on NXT beta normally, but then I got lazy that week weekend and here we are but yeah oh there's a cool thing okay first off the valentine valentine scepter the slam it gives you a four percent xp bonus it's cost around 5k per pedal it takes 2.5k pedals for a full staff well not a full staff for the staff and then you have to charge it 200 charge per which isn't bad it's like one mil for 4.4 percent xp extra per day and a good thing about it is that it doesn't take any bonus XP away from your bonus XP pool. So it adds extra XP, so that's cool. And, yeah. Um, so the last couple of weeks I've been busy. Uh, my birthday passed recently. Uh, I turned 22, which was cool. I went out with friends and family, etc. Uh, school. I just finished a couple of tests. Uh, I have a couple of tests next week, but... They're not that hard. I've been studying throughout this week. That's why I didn't have this video earlier in this week. And after that, after next week, I'm on spring break for a week so I can get to go really hard on my XP game. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I also got a Wii U recently. I mainly play Super Smash Bros. I'm thinking about buying Splatoon. But yeah. I also got my Ness Amiibo. Uh, my main's Ness. I love that guy. He's the best. Uh, so I guess the first topic of this video will be invention. This video is long, this, I guess, little topic is, had a long time coming, I guess, because I posted my 99 video and then I just posted nothing since then. So I guess I'll talk about it, invention in general. Uh, when invention came out, I wasn't online. I was heading to school, actually. And I actually woke up 30 minutes early because I heard the invention XP update would be around that time. But it got postponed a little bit, and I was pretty mad. I was like, whatever. I got to class, and actually, there's a kid who plays RuneScape also next to me in class. So I was like, dude, have you tried Invention? He's like, no, no, how was you? And I was like, no, I haven't. And then I just did a tutorial next to him. Uh, and then I got home. I went home after two classes. And I started training. I asked some friends what to do. And everyone was like, White Knight there. So everyone was doing White Knights. And I did it for a while. I think I did it till Gizmos to like 30. And then I was like, no way in hell this is the best method. I doubt Jagex even thought about White Knights being viable. So I started thinking. I read around and people were saying, Addy Hatchets, Addy Square Shields, Addy Plate Bodies. Disassemble those for better uh, component chance. And I did that. And then I made Gizmos to around 40. Once I got 40, I used Spirit sh Shield components, whatever that was, um, Corporeal. Shout out to Bumholy for selling me them. I really needed those. I d never thought about it, and I bought them from that guy for like 400k each, which was a lifesaver. And that really just started me off of getting one of the top invention players at the start of the game, at the start of release. Uh, then 32, sorry, 40. Nine, yeah, forty-nine. I started doing explosive components. You guys know I had a whole bunch of hand cannons in previous videos. You could see the hand cannons. I said I just was through speculation. I looked at Ars Wiki. I looked at the charts. I looked at the items, and hand cannons were fairly low compared to everything else. So I bought them. And then fifty to sixty-five. I was it fifty? No, sorry. Whatever. Whenever you unlock fungal, I did around till sixty-five. I did fungal with explosive. 
And then I was like, no way in hell, this is the best method all the way. So I started testing stuff, and I figured out Undead was really good. And Undead was pretty close to the same GP per XP, and it was way higher XP per hour. So, so basically, it was around the same GP per XP, higher XP per hour, and more XP per gizmo. So definitely, it was worth it. So I found someone selling bulk malevolent energies, and I started buying them, and I made malevolent helms on my alts for me, and that was good. Uh, after some time, I stopped. After 99, I stopped. Uh, so I did that to 84, and then I stopped, and I went back to fungal and explosive till around 93 or 94 or 92, somewhere around those mid low li low 90s, close to mid 90s, and I did. That's when the first nerf happened, by the way, and I just did fortunate to the rest. I did fortunate all the way to 99 because I had a whole bunch of treasure trial items, and I was like, may as well. I didn't do like my big collection of 10 calves. I did all my useless um, treasure trial collections, like the miters and the stoles and stuff, and then I moved on to my wolf staffs. Um, that wasn't bad. I didn't really want to go into my 10 cab collection because that's my favorite collection of them all. I've had them for like over two years. I've been collecting them for ages. 10k of them, that's crazy. It's like the G days on that is a crazy amount. But yeah. Um, I did 99 up to fortune and then I just stopped and mentioned like I just completely stopped until February 1st the reason for that is because on February 1st is when the 5% boost in the 15th anniversary place wore off so I was like might as well just continue doing Bibles in there until the first and then until February 1st and then on February 1st until whenever I would slay the 200 mil which I did get 200 mil slate, by the way. You'll see that in the next progress video. And that clip is in NXT. Um, but yeah, that's basically it. Um, I'll talk about Slayer now. Uh, Slayer. I've got it. Blah, 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 blah. I'm 200 mil. Uh, recently, I've been doing Aerith since 200 mil, just camping it and just training Invention through that. But if you don't know recently invention got like a slight nerf but not technically a nerf it's like any damage that's like not directly from you for example like cannon weapon poison steel titan doesn't go to invention xp so that was a pretty big nerf especially for dark beast afk um i still have enough like combat xp to do that to do a route which is like the best xp per hour and get 200 more invention so i'm going to continue doing that for sure uh, I don't really know what else to talk about. Uh, I guess I could talk about my plans for double XP. On double XP, I'm going to do s construction. I bought bonus XP. Uh, I, I talked about that earlier. I have, if I somehow can pull off like 45 hours of construction, I'll get 200 mil. And then I also have to do, uh, where is it? Crafting, crafting, crafting. I have to do crafting. I will do crafting and construction. If you want pulse cores, I don't know if I should do this, but my clan, Gain Strain, will be hosting pulse cores all double XP weekend. But if there starts to be having a problem, like people just like messing up portables and stuff, we'll close the Citadel and no one can use it. So if you're going to come, please don't be a douchebag and just start messing around trolling because everyone's caring about their XP on that day, especially me. Thank you. Um, but yeah, here's my double XP tab. My concentration will be D stones and then my mahogany planks and I have some protein planks. Um, I have dragon leather because I'm going to use this with the crafting catalyst because you, I believe you craft one tick faster with the catalyst so that makes us insane XP per hour. Might as well use all 4k. Congrats on 5.4 bill. Um, but yeah, that's cool. I think that's the 26th, officially the 26th 5.4 biller. Um, but that's really it. I guess I could talk about future goals now. Um, future goals, future, future, future. So I just hit five bill XP yesterday. I have enough for fur friends now. I have enough charges on my scepter for 5.4 bill. Uh, I plan to do around hopefully 150, 200 mil XP this bonus XP weekend. And I plan for 5.4 in March. 
I think I'll post a progress video right before 5.4 bill and then I'll post in the description an invitation to you if any of you guys want to come to the party I guess I'll post on my social media for sure like closer to the event time uh, I have tumblr and I have twitter mainly twitter I t use now but it's either or you can check it on um, but yeah I guess I could talk about other stuff so I finished 200 mil in crafting finally finished divination oh my gosh that was the happiest day of my life I kid you not like the day after I got 200 mil divination I went out and we just partied um, what else is there oh I have 13 mil invention that's not bad after basically I didn't guess I didn't specify that but after summoning I mean not summoning whoa 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 after I finished uh, Slayer I mean basically after 99 Slayer not Slayer sorry 99 invention I stopped and then on the 1st of February I just trained invention on long sign with Slayer so that was not bad it was really lossless I wish I got 200 mil but it was really close oh well um but yeah I don't have many skills left my range just despawned um smithing is done I'm gonna do hunter over spring break it's not gonna take long it's probably like 10 hours 10 10 to 15 max uh give me a second I had to go to the bank and find my forges not forges ranges um okay I have fletching and I'm gonna be doing dragon darts for the most of it I said forget this not gonna sell them I'm just gonna do them whenever I can because I've been fletching dragon darts off and on whenever I can get supplies it's pretty hard to get them now it's been rising but oh well um what else is there crafting double XP I don't have many skills left uh cooking I'm gonna do wines I have bonus XP but that's really it that's nice Uh, I'm going to be div capping on Hunter if you guys are going to ask me that. I don't really have much to talk about anymore. If you guys want to ask questions in the description, I mean in the description in the comment section, that would be perfect for the next video. So I have more to talk about because like I'm having less and less things to talk about each video. <sighs> I guess I could talk about summer. Um, summer. I'm going to concentrate for school. Like right after I get 5.4, I'm probably not going to log on until the school, the semester's over. Uh... In the summer, I'm probably going to take summer classes, concentrate on school, and I'll probably go job hunting. Um, while I have, when I have free time, I'll probably go AFK on Joffrey, or, yeah, I'll probably AFK money make on Joffrey, and, uh, holy crap, I'm burning a lot this inventory. And I'll probably go max over to Moriarty again, so I can have three max alts, so I can do a Raxer, like, as much as I want a day. And I don't have to use a pheromone or reset. I'll just go on a new account. Um, but yeah, that's really it. I do plan to go for trim and final boss because I have this like completionist feel feel to beat the game. If you get what I mean, it's not true trim, but it's like get the huge achievements, like all the PVM achievements, final boss, insane final boss. There's not really any PVP. Like I guess get the PK helm and the staking helm. That's really it. And then skilling, 5.4. Mm, I don't really know what else to do. But yeah, I guess that's it for this video. Uh, I guess keep your eyes peeled. Is that keep your eyes peeled? Keep your ears peeled for a post double XP rambling progress video. And then a progress video post, like right before 5.4, not post 5.4. There'll be a right before 5.4 and then right after 5.4 video. Uh, and then. I guess that's really it. I know I haven't made the wine video yet. For some reason, I've just been postponing it. I'm sorry. I will get to that eventually, I hope. But yeah, I guess that's really it for the video. Thanks for watching, and have a good day. See ya.